Welcome back to Ark with the Rude Man. And today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I thought I would let you see what the server looks like and what kind of things we've been doing over here. So um, currently I'm on the island. I wasn't. Uh, as you see, I'm naked because I just uh, I just came here from Ragnarok. We're currently playing on Ragnarok. So when you transfer over, you don't have any clothes or anything. Uh, you can't transfer your stuff that easy. You have to take everything off and transport it separately. So anyway, here I am on the island, and I was going to show you what we've been doing here. This uh, this is Caterin. Uh, as you can see, she looks a little bit different than my other character. But also, uh, she is level 105. So, we are going to take a little tour of our original spot. When we first got here, uh, we spawned right here. And this is our very first campfire, very first thing we built. And, uh, and we spent the night here, all that kind of stuff. And then we swam across here. Now, this is going to look a little bit familiar to you because I copied this uh, from our server. From memory, I, I, it's not exactly the same. It's a little bit different, but uh, I built it a little different. But it's pretty much what we did very, very first. And you can see this looks the same. Um, I just kind of copied what we'd already done to get uh, the game going, my single player game going as quickly as I could. I just went from what we did over here. And um, I'm coming over here because I keep spare clothes here. And um, there's Joey Heatherton. She's my little pet. Let's get her. We'll put her, pick her up. Ain't she cute? So let's see. I think I've got some clothes upstairs. Let's see. Let's get up there. And let's see. I think I put some clothes in this chest over here. All right. Now this is my armor that I've got. I'm going to put it on. This is what I normally wear at level 105. Let's get some meat over there. Some food. My canteen. Um, I'll get my... This is a tech rifle. And then my AFK or my... What do they call that? Assault rifle. Um, get my helmet. Get my pants. I don't think there's anything else here I need. Now this armor is powered. This is a powered armor. So I'm going to need power. You can't transport the power from uh, place to place. So it, it doesn't transfer. So I think I've got some in one of these chests. Uh, nothing there. There it is. Element. Okay. So we've got element. So let's get dressed. And then we'll take a little tour. Let me put my helmet on. My torso. My hands. My pants. And my boots. Now, in um, on Ragnarok, I've got a solid black set of armor. This is what I call my Iron Man suit. As you can see, it's kind of golden and red like Iron Man. Uh, elements here, so we're set to go. Let's put the food in six and the water in there. And we'll put our rifle, our tech rifle in eight, I guess. We'll put our assault rifle in nine. I don't plan on using it, but you never know. Okay, so basically this all looks the same because it's pretty much what I did in the single player but uh, now that we've got a little bit of armor on, uh, let's go. Cool, huh? All right, first I'll show you the... Um, let's see, let's go to... We're gonna go to the treehouse first. Uh, from the beach, that's the first thing we did, is we came over here and uh, 
We built a bridge. There's a bridge across the swamp here. And then we built up the tree house. So let's see where we at. I'm lost already. It's right over here. Okay, so this is the tree house. Now, starting from the outside here, um, this is this is some steampunk stuff over here. This is a steampunk plant. Take a look at this. So this is a construction yard for building things. You can build uh, you can build an airship. You can build a balloon, uh, like a hot air balloon. That's what the treehouse looks like. And then this place right here is a breeding pit for the dinosaurs. Now what we do is uh, we have these dinosaurs bred up. The T-Rexes. I'll, I'll show you. All right, so this is where we breed the T-Rexes. That's a, that's a Giga right there. But we breed the Rexes up here. And the reason we do that is because when you go in to fight the bosses, you can take Rex T-Rexes with you. And they can fight the bosses with you. But what you have to do is you have to breed them up. So what you do when you breed them is uh, you take the male and the female and one of them has uh, some qualities, the other has the other qualities. When you breed them, the baby will get both qualities. So if you want them to be a melee, um, then you give one of the dinosaurs high melee. And if you want the other one to, to have like carry weight or uh, whatever, whatever you, property you want that to have, you give it to the other one. When they breed, the baby will get both. And every time you breed them, they get stronger. And uh, and so you kind of breed them up, and then you take them into the uh, boss fights with you. So there's a lot of equipment here. I'm not going to explain all the equipment. It would take me all day. I just want to give you a quick tour of it. But a lot of this stuff, if you notice, is, is uh, looks like steampunk stuff. So we have a mod for building steampunk stuff. That thing right there that we're looking at, This is a, uh, a teleportation unit between here and the other worlds. So this is how I got here from, uh, from Ragnarok, is using this thing. And let's see, what else? That's a steampunk Rusty, that's a steampunk Rhino. We use him for fighting and stuff. There's junk all over here. This is an elevator right here, although I don't really need it. I'm gonna fly up there. But here's some of the animals we have. This area here, the treehouse is a shared area. We share this area. I have my own place, uh, and I'll show you that in a minute. Let me get up here. Hang on, hang on, Joey. All right. Right here, you'll see this opens up so that we can drop in here and put our uh, flying animals in here. So that, that they can fly right in from there. This is a tapet, um, this is Tapatio. That is, he's not mine. Um, he's a Tapajera and he's fully armored. So we've got tech armor on him. Uh, mine is uh, called Taco. I'll show you him later. But uh, so we've got an uh, fine animals in there. We've got some of the animals that won't fit, like uh, like Kenny here. Kenny won't fit, so we keep him out here. And he's got a platform on him, so we can haul heavy stuff with him. 
And there's the steampunk air balloon you can fly around. Um, let's just take a quick tour of the inside. There, like I said, there's a lot of equipment in here. Most of it is steampunk. We have a fridge over here uh, that's generated by power. And I'll show you, we keep a lot of stuff in here. Uh, we got a lot of meat. If, if you notice, we keep it cold. It's refrigerated. We have um, dino eggs that we keep in here until we want to incubate them. And then, let's see, what do we got here? This thing here is kind of cool. Um, let's see, is this mine? I think this might be mine. Yeah, this is mine. What this is, is it's, it's a cryo chamber. So if I'm out and about and I get killed, I'll regenerate in this cryo chamber with all my armor and everything. So that's kind of cool. And then this is an incubator. So if you take those eggs and put them in here, uh, you can grow dinosaurs and animals. This is all industrial stuff for making copper and whatever that you want to build with. This thing here is a combination of a couple of things. It's a generator, and on the end is a. Uh, um, it's a. Uh, for storing oil, because we make oil for running things. Uh, let's see. What else we got? This is another little area for making our guns and things like that, our crafting. That looks familiar. That's your fabricator that we that I've already used. Uh, we've got all different kinds of fabrication machines in here. And let's see what else we got. We got a barber chair over here. We can cut our hair and change our hairstyle, stuff like that. Um, upstairs, we got a couple little private rooms here, I guess. Here's here's one of them. Um, if I stay over here, I sleep in in the bunk beds. This is my cabinet for storing extra stuff when I'm here. And I'm not here that often anymore. I spend more time at my other place. It's just junk we've accumulated. There's a copper bed over here. That's uh, That doesn't belong to me. I don't use that one. Let's run upstairs. Most of the animals here are not mine. They belong to other people. Because like I say, I keep my animals at my own place. This is the upstairs here. And again, we've got a chest set up along the wall for storing things. If you want uh, to get uh, wood quickly or thatch or whatever you want, we've got storage up here for that. Um, there's some of our trophies that we've got for fighting the big bosses. we got a war map on the wall here. Although... We don't have any other factions here. We just have the one uh, tribe. Uh, Wolfman is mine. Why I left him here, I don't know, but he's the pack leader. The highest level wolf is always the alpha wolf. Um, that's Grey Wind. That's my son's wolf. And then we've got some teleportation devices here. Um, those are all the uh, artifacts from all the places that you have to go into all the dungeons and there's a beehive over there uh, there's Tapatio we saw him already this is this is a teleportation device we've got a couple of them this one is uh, the steampunk version and this one is the tech version it's a lot simpler we'll use that in a minute I want to fly over to so that you can see what it looks like I'm gonna fly over to the other place rather than use the teleport so let's go back down. All right. Now, um, I didn't show you. Ch I didn't show you chili. I'll show you chili in a minute. This suit is kind of cool because you can fly in it. You're pretty much. Uh, you can drop in it and not get hurt. Let me do that. Okay, you saw me fly in it. You can also... You can also run in it. And I can run right through stuff, not the trees. Well, yeah, I guess I can. I ran right through that tree. 
I can run through the rock. Okay, we're coming across here. At level 105, I don't have to worry too much about animals. I can pretty pretty much take care of myself. This is one of the girls' house right here. A very small place. Uh, one of the girls wanted her own uh, place, so we built her this. So she's got a nice little cabin and a place to keep her animals in there. And then uh, at one point when we first came over onto this side of the uh, water, there's the volcano that you've seen me go to. Um, when we first came over here, I decided I want to put a tower up like a wizard's tower. So I built this little thing on this precipice here so that I could overlook the water. And we'll take a quick look at what that looks like. So I can go up into the tower and kind of look around. Oh, I missed. Well, you can see the view I've got from up there, right from here. So, um, that's that's a, a windmill there that I used to power my uh, equipment that I put in this room here. So, this thing right here, you can put stuff in it, and uh, it this works like... Um, you remember the thing I was making uh, stuff with, that little bench? Well, that's what this does, only it does it really fast. So I can make stuff really fast with this. The windmill works a lot faster. Let's see if I've got something in here I can make something with. Let's do some flint and some stone. Stone, maybe. Is that stone? That's a metal ingots. Don't need that. Let's put some stone in. I don't think I... Now, with the armor I've got on, I can still move with this, even though I'm over-encumbered. So, we're going to put this in here. That's all I needed. Let me put that in there, too. I already have some in there. But watch how fast this does it. You remember how my thing did it over in the, that little table? It just took forever to do anything. But if I decide I want to make some of this, look how fast it is. And this is easy to make. It's just a windmill. It's just powered. It's cool. Now, there's there's other stuff that's more uh, powerful than that, even. Now, let me take a quick look inside this tower here. This is my summer resort. That's up to the tower. You can walk up to the tower. I got a fireplace. This is all hooked up, by the way. Um, if I start this... Let's see. I don't have any wood in it. I don't know if I have any wood. Um, there's a water pot there that I can cook uh, soups and stuff in. There's a rotisserie I can put meat on. Uh, and, the, and the water is actually hooked up to water. I've got a water pipe that's coming from down below all the way up here and hooked into this fireplace. Uh, so there's water right here also. There's a line that runs from this right here. You can't see it, but it goes through the refrigerator and over into the fireplace. So, anyway, <clears throat> yeah, this is where I stay if I want to just get away. And this is where... <clears throat> this is where I'm currently working over here. It's a project in construction. I'm not done with it yet. But it's kind of a... Uh, it's kind of a castle. All right, so these these are all my trophies that I've gotten from the boss fights, things like that. These are all mine. Everything here is mine. Uh, it's funny because I did a Christmas episode, and it's still decorated for that. That was the last time I was here. Because like I say, we're now playing on Ragnarok. 
So there's Ed. Is that Ed? Or... Yeah, that's Ed. There's Rudolph. Some presents. Uh, I've got my work area over here. I've got another windmill that I use over here. This is an electric generator here. I do have some things that run on electricity. Uh, this is a galley area for fixing up food and stuff like that. You notice I've got water, water tank, fireplace. I've got an actual refrigerator that's powered by that power over there. These uh, are for making beer. You can see I'm fermenting beer in there. That's an air conditioner because it gets really hot. So I've got an air conditioner running. That's an electric generator. This was not the generator. This over here is not a generator. This is uh, this is an industrial grinder for grinding up stuff. There's another uh, steampunk teleporter unit there. We'll use that in a minute. I keep all my animals in here. These are all my animals that I've got. They're not all, but some of them. I took some of them over to Ragnarok with me. That's Doris. She's my bear. My dire bear. Uh, there's Tammy. We got... Who do we got over here? This thing here generates uh, power for the... Uh, the place over here where I keep my animals' food. That keeps their food fresh. So you don't have to worry about uh, meat rotting and stuff like that. But yeah, I got a lot of animals. I don't. The, something came into this because they're usually not bunched up like this. So something was here. Oh, I hate the sound that thing makes. This big centipede thing makes an awful sound. So yeah, there's... Um, if something was outside, let's get on Harriet. Can I ride Harriet? Come on, Harriet. Let's get out of here. Harriet's fun. Alright, and then I've got my bigger animals out here. There's my Brontosaurus. My Brontosaurus. Flintstone. Um, we've seen Flintstone on my other one. I have a Giga. There's a... What is that? What are you doing up there? What the hell is that? What's he doing up there? That's one of them poop machines. This is Rexit Ralph, one of my T-Rexes. That's a stray. I don't know whose that is. That's a wild one. Uh, there's my Giga named Gordo. I got another T-Rex over here, Mr. T. And uh, I got Legosaurus. It's Legosaurus. This is a greenhouse that pretty much takes care of itself. It grows things in here. I've got some dung beetles in there. There's the dung beetles. And uh, I got a poop machine in here. This guy poops. The dung beetles pick up the poop. This person here is one of the, is a, a gardener, and she takes care of everything. She collects everything. Everything is watered. There's another dung beetle. And the dung beetles pick up the poop, and they put it in this thing over here. And then, uh, so we got a gardener, and we've got a farmer. Farmer's growing the food. The gardener collects it up. And, yeah, those are all mods. So my greenhouse is self-sufficient, takes care of itself. And then I've got a little bitty breeding place over here. Um, this thing collects the uh, eggs that are uh, laid and uh, hatches them or incubates them. I've got a dodo cage over here to keep my dodos in because I'm breeding dodos. And then back here, I've got my two main T-Rexes. Uh, that breed and uh, one of them's armored up. I got Fladeus and Rex Luther. Fladeus is my big girl and you can see she's got armor. She's armored. This is tech armor and with tech armor that, Dang it, I missed again. With the tech armor uh, she's even got laser beams on her helmet so they're pretty tough.
Alrighty then, what do we have up top? Up top of the animal housing is my landing pad. That's where I keep my flying animals. Now, I don't have... My flying animals are not here. One of them is in Ragnarok, and the other one is at the beach house. Um, I haven't named uh, this Quetzal yet. I haven't decided what to name him, or her, him or her. I don't know what it is. It's a male. I haven't uh, decided what to name him yet. But anyway, yep, this is my castle. There's the back door. If you look at this area, it was a perfect place to build because it's surrounded by, you know, walls. So I just kind of built the castle right in the middle of it. And I do have water coming to the castle. The water's coming from that water swampy area over here. So... Anyway, there you go. That's uh, that's what we've done on the island. Now, there's a lot more to it than this because we do have... Um, well, no, I didn't show you everything. All right, let me do that. Hang on. Get back down here. Come on, Iron Man. Whoa, don't overshoot. Okay, I didn't show you everything. Let's use the teleporter. And I have two teleporters here. I've got this one and I've got uh, that one. Let's use this one so you can see how it works. It's kind of cool. This is the steampunk version. So you uh, open the monitor and we can go back to the treehouse or we can go to the ocean floor. We're going to go to the ocean floor. So I'll show you that. We're going to teleport. All right, so we are at our ocean base. So we're on the floor of the ocean. And there's some of the animals we have. That Tessie, that's mine. Tessie is mine. Uh, Lady Grey, that shark, is mine. She's fully armored. And then I have the only big boy we've got. I've got the big boy. He's up here, I'll show you. When we go out, let's see kind of if I can remember how to get out of here. Let's go through this door and then down through here. And we're out in the ocean. And this suit works good in the ocean too, so. So yeah, it really works well. Whoa, went out of the boundary. Okay, here's the big boy. I've got the only one. This thing is a monster. This is, uh, I called her, I called her Mona. But this, she is the big, big deal in the ocean. And she's fully armored. Uh, yeah, isn't that cool? Anyway, so we can do stuff down here. The sharks are pretty cool. We can come in here. This is how they get out. There's a door there that lets them in and out. It's a barrier door. But, uh, yeah, that one is for hauling big Tessie. Loch Ness, that's why I named her Tessie. She's like a Loch Ness monster. But we can carry a lot of junk on top of her. And then uh, Lady Grey and uh, Maggie, those are our sharks, our mega sharks. And again, they're fully armored, so we can go out and battle. So let's see if there's a door to get back in to the inside. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've been here. All right, well, we can get back in down where we came out. Maybe. <laughs> uh, hard to control. All right, so we're back in. Uh, let me go through the door here. Where's the door? There it is. There's the door. And let's just take a look around. There's the there's the feeder for them so they can eat. We've got some living areas up above there. There's not much to see really. So there's two three stories here. We've got, like I say, some living areas. I can get up this way right here, I think. Right about here.
Okay, this is a spot up here for uh, for our living area. Uh, let's see, that's my area over here. I just have a bed and a place to put my stuff. I don't know, where's my bed? There was a bed here. Somebody stole my bed? Huh, that's weird. Might be just be a, uh, might just be a glitch. There is an elevator here that goes up and down to the bottom floor. So we can do that for me with the suit on. Just as easy to do this. Okay, so that's the ocean floor. Uh, we've got it. We've got air conditioners and stuff, so it's all uh, the temperatures all right for us. And uh, let me run back over to the teleporters, and I'll show you how the other teleporter works. It's a lot simpler. This is a tech teleporter, and you just click on it and you point at the map where you want to go. So we can go back to the treehouse. And that's as easy it is as it is. Let's see, where's the way out? I think I got a way out here somewhere. I haven't been here forever. Ever. Uh, this guy here, this is a, a sheep, obviously. A goat, sheep, whatever you want to call it, ram. But this guy is a mod. And uh, what he does is he shears the sheep constantly and builds up uh, wool and stuff for us to, to fabricate with. So that's kind of cool. Let me get out of here. I'll show you my pride and joy. Let's head back. Huh. Joey, she likes flying. My little pet on my shoulder. All right, we're gonna head that way. Going back to the beach house. Alright, back at the beach house here. And there's my... There's Taco. He's my buddy. Taco's my buddy. Huh. Taco is my Tapajara, fully armored. And these are cool. You can... You, this, this character will uh, haul three people. So, there's, there's space on there for three people. And it's got armor. He's got lasers he can fire. Um, and the cool thing about Tapajeras is they can fly backwards. And not only can they fly backwards, they can land on trees and stuff. So they can land on the side of, of uh, cliffs, trees, stuff like that, and just hang on the tree. They're cool. All right, Taco, I'm gonna put you back down. All righty, well, there you go. This is uh, this is our island home. We do have a compound over here. Uh, it's a little different than what I'm doing. I didn't show you that. I'll show you quickly that it this um, compound is not mine. Let 
this compound was built by uh, one of the girls, and this is her home. She's done a very good job on it, but she keeps all of her animals here. Now, you've seen what this looked like before. This is what it looks like when it's all clear. Now, I did not clear as much as she did, and I'm just building with wood right at the moment, but she built this castle here, and then she put in some uh, village houses around town here. <clears throat> I gotta figure out what's wrong. This mod, uh, there must have been an update to this mod because all these foundations actually have buildings on them. So I'm gonna have to find out if that's a mod issue. She loves to collect animals. She's got animals everywhere. She's got a half a dozen flying animals. These are cool. I've got, uh, mine is named Tony. I've got uh, a cat like this. No, this is a cat. This is not what I'm looking for. Where's the big cat? Well, anyway, there's a big cat. Mine is named Tony, like Tony the Tiger. There's Carl. Anyway, um, that's a little bit about what we're doing. In the next episode, I think I'll take a tour of Ragnarok and show you, because that's where we're currently working. But anyway, I hope you had fun. If you did, give it a like, share it with a friend, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you back on ARC in the next episode.